Remember those bad boys? You don't. You fucking zoomers. You fucking zoomers. You don't even know. You don't even know, man. Rendulo. Hopefully it's saved. Shut up. She's super sane. Super sane three. Does she know his trauma? I don't fucking know. We don't know who the fuck this is. We just know that she went there one night and fucking put Viagra in his shit and then got pregnant from him and then left and one year later returned. And now she's dressing up as his mom. After drugging him.
Hey, she has a Levi's skirt. Looks like it. Looks like the thing. Shit! Why didn't I steal his key? <sighs> yeah, maybe you should plan some more, motherfucker. Uh, back door. Your little sweetheart is drugged up, but if you start meowing and wake him up... Get rid of kitty quietly? Why would he wake up from a fucking kitty meowing if he's drugged? Why is he hiding from the cat? I wouldn't be surprised if this fucking baby was drugged too. Find you. Thief. Thief. Has anyone here done LSD? That video inspired me. Imagine you could be sitting in a bland observation room and experience as much euphoria as that 1950 as housewife. Yeah. We'll probably make this game enjoyable. Traces of me from guest house. Remove all traces of me from his house. All traces. You want me to wipe the fingerprints? The fingerprints of this?
delete pictures. Jenny's temperature is 103.6. Huh? Why'd you take so long? Okay, sorry. I'm just stressed out. Here. I'll get them. Don't worry. Seriously? Are you sure fate? There could always be something that we're missing, but I'm almost positive. So, Jenny? Is she alive? Where is she? Who is she? That I do not know. How do we... what do we do? We have to find out who Faye is. She said she was a fan. She said she was a fan, right? Now we're gonna believe her? The best lies are partly true. Touché. I have a folder with fan mail and I could look through Twitter. Could Faye be a girl who got offended by the way you ended things? Um, there are quite a few of those. Don't look at me like that. I never make any promises. Bro, and I'm always shirt? honest about what I don't <laughs> want. But I, I pick my shirt first. I could look. I don't know. Right. Through my text messages? I don't know Step if I one, told you this before. Step 1. Free account. Step 2. Establish a relationship with him over calls. Step 3. Fuck them. Step 4. Okay. Move so in with recap. him and buy an annoying dog. Step 5. Manage without a trace and watch him go insane. Try to remember you have foursome. Yep. And you... And your new friend, the sheriff, do not at all. Whatever you have to. What? You, you're, you're. You're walking. Cured. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Unlikely, we get this up with one year. <laughs> nice, thank you. Monarchy with the prime sub. Come, sir. It's a fucking gunshot. Just analyze the damn bullet and see if it came out of Miller's gun. What's taking them so long? Why don't you call them? Get serious. Tell them Reyes is pissed off. If there's still no word by the time I'm back, I'll call them. All right. Are you gonna be a while? In 500 yards, take the exit towards Airport Road. Hold on. Are you at the airport? Um, it's kind of hard to explain. That's out of our jurisdiction. Uh, I'm following uh, a false lead. What? Why? It's information that Julie, uh, Dr. Lomas got from Miller. The guy is full of shit, and it could be a pack of lies, but it's all I've got. Julie, Doctor? Am I missing something? Well, I mean, she's nice and shit. What's wrong? 
I missed the place because of you. If I get a ticket, you're paying for it. All right, all right. Will you make it for the search party? South Sector, 5.30? South Sector, 5.30. I'll be there. We'll find her today, right? I wish I could guarantee it, kid. We'll do everything we can. Yeah, okay. We'll talk later. Now hiring experienced mechanic, full time, good pay, start immediately, ask inside. Alright. Alright. Well, no one is fucking here, so I guess we're just gonna enter with our uh, imaginary... Hey! Hey, you! We're closed! Estamos cerrados on a fair May. Wir haben geschlossen. Siamo chiusi. Moshiwake gozaimasen. Sorry, sir. Do you speak my language? We're out of cars, comprende? I do. But... I can't rent you a car. They're all booked. Zero Jesus cars Christ, available. Shut the fuck well, I should up. say I have minus one car available since this one broke down and they're supposed to pick Let it up in talk. two hours. But I have zero mechanics plus one shitty day, so if you'd be so kind, take a right on your way out. You'll see my competition in 300 yards. Tell them Amber Wong sent you and that they owe me one. Have a nice day. Um, I wasn't planning on renting a car. I'm the sheriff. I'm Sheriff Nick Reyes, and I need your help. Any other day I'd be happy to help you, Sheriff. Just not today. Plus, you're not in uniform, which makes me think you're either outside of your jurisdiction, or this is unofficial business. Okay. So, Google God much? bless America, and have a nice day. Unless you're a skilled mechanic. Know anything about motors? You think you could fix this car? Please say yes, you're gonna say yes. You have my word. Better believe I'll fix it. You have my word. It turns on, but no matter how much I step on the gas pedal, it doesn't budge. <sighs> that selfish Unbreak. bastard. I should have known he'd bail out on me, asshole. If you ever start a business and hire your significant other, well, never break up during high season. Can you open the hood for me, please? <clears throat> what? I don't know yet. Wow, that's a great start. Try turning the key in the ignition, please. Don't smash it. Don't Put the car in drive. Huh. What? It's what I thought. That's why I asked you to put it in drive. The clutch cable is loose. I'll need to unscrew the cables from the terminals, remove the battery, touch the loose cable. Where do you keep your tools? In the parking area. The big chest. Okay. Parking area, big chest. Uh, 
There's a big chest. Maybe she should have handed me a fucking key. Locked? Locked. No worries. The keys are in... No. No, 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 that... Son of a bitch took them. And he hasn't answered any of my calls or messages since we broke up. I'll just wait till I find him. You. Break it, smash it, burn it, bomb it if you have to. Just open the damn box. Okay. I guess I have a gun. Shoot it. Oh, juke! Uh... Hmm. What if the alarm goes off? Fucking car or what? Do I have something here? Hmm. Then how am I gonna force it open with a fucking whatever the doom? Am I gonna smash it? What is it called in English, these thingies? A jack. What are they called in Swedish? It's the customer for this car. I was just about to tell him my grandmother died so he'd cancel. I should tell him to come, right? Don't craft. I gave you oh, my word. some gameplay. All right. Give it to me yourself. Start the car. You're welcome. Ah, but uh, hey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You okay? Like I said, this isn't my day. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? You know what I'm gonna do? Study mechanics for emergencies like this. I've got two college degrees. It can't be harder than making sense of a spreadsheet. I just can't do it all on my own. You know how hard it is to run a business like this? I'm gonna need somebody. A good mechanic. Better one than that idiot. Your turn. I appreciate the offer, but I'm not a mechanic, and uh, I'm not looking for a job. Well, that's too bad, because I like you. You saved my day, and you know what you're doing. But that's not what I meant. I mean about what you told me before. So tell me, how can I help you? I'm looking for a woman in her 20s, Caucasian, blonde, green eyes. You rented her a car last year, between the 7th and 8th of October. She might have been coming from the airport. If I could check your records... It'll just take a second. Please? No. Any idea how serious the authorities are these days about data protection? So, 
I'm really sorry, but I can't help you. Far son, far son, we both here. I'm late to stream again. Pause the movie for a moment. Need to get back on again. Run to the bathroom and has a zero mechanics to watch her desk for her. Given the insane morning I've had, you'll excuse me, right? Can. Captain Eagle here for three years, man. Pack jump three years. Thanks for the good last four cent per pig and microphone. Or not microphone, but uh, megaphone. Thank you, Rosa Studios, uh, Stealthal, and Helio. Welcome back. A list of customers who rented a car between the 7th and 8th of October of last year. How about that? No fucking paper. Jesus. Joel and Tay shot with Prime Sub Club Fan, Sasha Dealer, Iron Max, Toad, Load, Horror Shit. Thank you, boys. Home with the five years, force and see. Force and gun every single one. Alright, we got a list. Now we have to find out who this crazy motherfucking rat a woman is. I hope you find your mechanic soon. And I hope you find that girl, Sheriff. Uh, one last thing. Is anything you told me true? All of it. Every last bit of it. Of course. I'll hold the job for you until Monday. Deal? I'm a fucking police officer. Sheriff. Sure. I'm all ears. Where the hell were you? Working. I told you I was working, didn't I? We got him, Nick. It's Miller, the bullet that killed my uncle. He's from the gun you found in his car. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. I know how you feel, kid, but... No, I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna smash his face in until he tells me where my aunt is. Adam, I'm your superior, and I explicitly order you not to do anything. Wait for me at the station. We'll go together, all right? Madam? <clears throat> Shit. Sorry, kid, but... Sheriff? Who? I just oh. received some crucial information. Um, not only does Faye exist, but... I'm going to arrest Miller. What? No! The gun from his glove compartment killed Samuel Franklin. No, Ed didn't kill anybody. It is what it is. Please, listen to me, please. Okay, go ahead. Talk. I know everything points to Ed, but it's a ploy. A ploy meticulously organized by a sick mind. Faye. Do you have proof? Not yet. Did you visit the car rental agency? Yes, I have the names. No Faye. If I'm right, 
It makes sense that she wouldn't use her real name. Obviously. The gun is literally evidence though. Even though Frank. I want to find Esther Franklin as much as you do. Arresting Ed won't help. Quite the opposite. Nor do you have evidence that the gun belonged to Ed, let alone that he was the one who shot it. Not yet. So, that makes two of us. I'm not 100% convinced, but what do you want me to do? Could you meet me at the Brody Canyon Bridge in an hour? Uh-oh. Here comes okay. Adam. Sure. Driver, the driver. Okay. One time you have a quick time event this whole game, bro. So here. You all right? You almost killed me. I'm all right. I'm all right. Yes, I'm. I'm all right. The county will pay for any damages. I blocked him. What though. are you looking for? That was the plan. For? Maybe this is best. He's at the house, isn't he? Adam Franklin. He can't help you find your aunt, but I can. He would never hurt your aunt or uncle. He really cares about them. Come back to the light, young Sith. You won't find the person who killed your uncle in that house, but I know where to start looking. I have to stop by my motel first, but in 45 minutes, we're going to do a little experiment on the Brody Canyon Bridge. See you there? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Selena psychiatrist. Okay. Credit card alone or there's no deal? What who the fuck is this?
<laughs> I had to make sure. You ready? All those precautions, and now you won't even check that it's really me? Come on. What the fuck? <clears throat> okay. This is where you'll see what I see. Which is what the drone sees, but without VR. What is happening? Hey, do I have to arrest you again? Oh, God, what the fuck? I'm not a, Are you cop, a cop, and nobody's arresting anybody. Sky D, Dave, offered to help us. The images his drone provides will help us test out a theory. And we'll see everything from here. Okay? Are you giving away free donuts? Or what? Good one. Your call, boss. Where do I send the bird? I think Ed did see someone jump off the bridge. But I also believe that person made a pit stop before hitting the ground. Can you fly to the middle of the bridge and hover right beneath it? Uh, yes. Shit, keep playing. Uh, not ready for this amount yet. Take it down a notch. Make it 2D. Alright, middle of the bridge. That Not was... so far up. It's in the middle of the bridge. Just <sighs> under the road. Okay, here we go. A double bag? So what? People come here to do yoga? For the views? Adam, call Harley, all right? We need a tactical unit to deploy rope operations under the bridge. I'm on it. Oh, and one more thing. Find that good Samaritan who saved Miller. The uh, truck driver. In case we forgot to ask him anything. So now what, boss? But why would she leave that bag there? Unless... Dave, can you cross over to the other side of the bridge and head straight down to the bottom of the cliff? Keep descending. You need to almost touch the ground. Didn't find this body before it can't be with the car crash and Boss, shit. I didn't hear you. What do I do? We need a clear view of the face, Sky D. God, I think I'm gonna puke. The face, Dave. Are you seeing this? Anybody know that chick? Is it her? <laughs> Is 
So she put on a dress to pretend to be the father and then jumped off the bridge? Sorry, the medical examiner was late. Let's hope she doesn't take too long to determine the cause and day of death. Although, it looks pretty obvious, right? <laughs> Are you busy? Should I step out for a second? Uh, no, no, it's nothing. Well, it always looked pretty obvious to you. If only I had listened to you sooner. I still don't know what the fuck is going on. Thank you. I accept your apology. Did I apologize? Let's say you did. Should we examine it all? Please. I honestly don't know where to start. All right. Well, uh... Was this vile? I don't know. Any idea what it might open? I'd say it's for a car, or some other vehicle. According to Ed, Faye took an Uber this time, and a rental car the time before, so I don't know. Hmm. I still have to check the names I got at the agency. That's a really strong neuroleptic. In layman's terms? An antipsychotic used in acute cases of schizophrenia, or manic disorders. Medication belonging to Faye? It has plenty of side effects, the mildest being its narcotic properties. It can cause almost immediate sedation. Hmm. Narcotics and antipsychotics. Both were found in Miller's blood. Hmm. Our hacking specialist unlocked it. Plus, we also got her fingerprints, which are being cross-checked as we speak. Hmm. No text. No contacts. Checklist. No calls. And I'm sure there aren't a... Wait. We do have some photos. Miller sleeping. Miller on the computer. Miller taking a shot. Miller at the window. Damn. She was obsessed. Miller and... The girl exists? She exists. But where is she? Oh, God. The living room. More living room. More living room. The kitchen. The office. What does she want? To build a model of the house? Basically, a mental one. Her smiling. Another smile. And another smile. Why all this smiling? Hmm? She's practicing. Smiling. She may have had difficulty reading facial expressions in others, and therefore reproducing them herself. Seems like a classic psychopath. Lack of empathy, right? There are many causes. Neurodegenerative diseases, autism spectrum disorders. In many cases, the right education might have compensated for this type of condition. Almost all of those who suffer from it are perfectly adapted to and contributing members of our society, and no less happy than you or me. But, yes, in this case, seems like your classic psychopath. Are we sure that Faye used that to pretend she jumped off the cliff when she was actually lowering herself down to the landing where we found the bag. As sure as we can be that the body is Faye's. Wait. You finally convinced me. And now you want me to question it all again? 
Well, you have the fucking fingerprints, so... We'd need Ed to confirm, but... From what he told me, it's just the kind of clothing Faye wore. So, Faye dressed up as John Miller. Did he always dress like that? Well, when he was young, he was more casual. Ed would have been, hmm, I don't know, five or six when John started dressing like that. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to take this all in. Hmm. We haven't finished yet. It was in the glove compartment of his car, but I guess at this point, that doesn't mean much. I found it in Miller's car, but I could have sworn he hated whiskey. He has his reasons. Believe him. Where'd you get that? I found it on the cliff, near Miller's car. I thought it was his, but I guess I was wrong. Faye was a psychopath. She was obsessed with Miller. She sedated him, drugged him, planted false evidence all over the car, including the gun that killed Samuel Franklin. Dressed up as John Miller, waited till Ed woke up, pretended to jump off of the bridge, ended up killing herself? Was that her plan? There are too many loose ends. And a baby that we have to find. An Esther Franklin. What's missing? What aren't we seeing? <laughs> it's mine. with these young people and all these voice messages. Hey, I went to the company that truck driver Barry Dennison works for, but he was done for the day. They told me about this bar he goes to, but he wasn't there either. But I did see this picture on the wall. I'll send it over. <laughs> what? I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'd go right now, but I'm hungry as what? a wolf. And this place. Am I supposed to know what the fuck that means? Closed down months ago. Is with Gimli Actually, at some fucking biker bar? I know some much, much better places to eat out. Oh, he has a cap. Well, it's way past dinner time. If you'd like to, we could eat at one of those places you mentioned. <laughs> I was just going to suggest one. Mama Louise makes the best almond chicken stew in the county. It's a short walk from here. Um, could Mama Louise make anything without animal products? Can she? Wait till you try her lemony garbanzo salad. Say no more. Wait, we haven't even looked at the list of drivers. We can look at it tomorrow. Hello, Fawson community. Afternoon? Perhaps Afternoon. I owe an explanation. I am one of the developers of Vertigo. We used artificial intelligence and procedural generation to create a never-ending story. A few of your viewers have already caught on. We hope you enjoy. Now it turns into a dating simulator. Careful there, old geezer. 
Late again, Dennison. I had a rough night. Okay? If this happens one more t It won't. I'll hook on the trailer and be out in a second. Hand over the routing sheet. Boss. There won't be any routes today, Mr. Dennison. The county, in appreciation of your work as a good Samaritan, on the 20th of September, on the Brody Canyon Bridge. We'd like to offer you a guided visit of the police station. Bastard. Citizen, I have rights. Does he? I do, and now I'm one driver short thanks to the county. Fishing this Sunday, I'll get the bait. All right. Normally, in these cases. My assistant plays good cop, and I play bad cop. But unfortunately, since you two started off on the wrong foot, I've got to do it all. <clears throat> so, it's your pick. Which role would you like to see me in? Mm, uh, in the role of a beaner? See? Hmm. I pick. We know you've been involved in something real ugly. <laughs> if you cooperate and tell us everything that happened at the bridge that morning, well, I can't make any promises, but you'll probably get off scot free, or just about. I have no fucking clue what you want me to tell you. Hmm. I see. My buddy Ben, your boss, doesn't seem to like you very much. Hmm. Being sheriff, I got connections. It wouldn't be hard for me to get you into a better position. Working for the county, for instance. I hope your wingman is better at playing good cop because... Unfucking believable. Okay. I'm surprised you haven't said the thing about talking to a lawyer first. I don't talk to lawyers. Hmm, okay. I'll do the talking if you want. They're all a bunch of... Uh... Hey, what are you doing with my phone there? Saving you the trouble. I have my rights. Let's see. Lawyers? That's illegal. I'll report you. My, you need a lawyer for that. Any favorites in your contacts? <sighs> Son of a bitch. I'll pick again. In fact, I have a few candidates right here. Sheriff Reyes, why is this number in Barry Dennison's contact list? Who? Barry who? Oh, he looked um, decent on the app. I deleted his number after the first date. Bitch. Thanks, Miss Thompson. Mr. Forson, this is the Twitch shot. admin team. If you are doing a sponsored stream, you must add the ad part. It's actually against TOS to not tell your stream the only reason you're playing this game is because you are sponsored. True. Why do you think I'm still playing it? They can afford to sponsor people. Can afford proper fucking lip sync. 
Oh boy. Looks like someone named Brainless Loser Barry is calling crazy bitch. I already got my answer. Why would I call it the Golden Blonde? My favorite customer. Detained. Sheriff Ray speaking. And you are? Oh, uh, Tom DeLucci. Owner of the Golden Blonde. So, uh, what did he do? Can you tell me when you saw him last? Yeah, sure. Always happy to cooperate with the police sheriff. He came to the club, I'd say, uh, a few weeks ago. Spent big money on girls and drinks. How much is big money? Almost ten grand. Listen, if he stole it, I had no idea. My clients prefer I don't ask, you know? Fucking greaseball. We'll be in touch, Mr. Delucci. We found the cap at the bottom of Brody Canyon. Are you going to deny that it's yours? Must have fallen when I was saving a goddamn life. I found it over 200 yards from where you held Miller down. It was windy, for Christ's sake. True. A little. Blowing the other way, though. We find your hat where it shouldn't be. Your number where it shouldn't be. Maybe we should have stopped playing games, huh? Incestuous relations and nepotism that occurs Sheriff. in the indie game industry just... is what allowed Zoe Quinn to create a depression quest and subsequently cause. Then is Gamer Gate to blame her game morning. being shit. Speaking I'm of shit, then in Law Studios, you're looking at a first studio. degree murder charge. Uh, I. I didn't! She. She jumped! From the beginning, Denison. <sighs> she came on to me at Lawrence, and I thought I'd be getting laid that night, but she gave me 200 bucks up front and promised me 10 grand if I helped her with something legit, no strings attached. Hmm? I had to be at the Brody Canyon Bridge a few days later, at 4.30 a.m. Jews, they were two years, man. I could lay with the seven years. Imagine being with Allison for 84 years in 2021. Imagine. It must be psychotic. The long con plot. Planning. Is that a stiff? Darling, you can count me out. Uh -uh, no way. Are you sure you want me to count you out? Because there's no stiff here. Yet. Hey, whoa there. No, darling. Count me in. All the way. A hundred percent. Yeah. Is he asleep? Sort of. I just wanna scare him a little. Make him pay. What? What did he do to you? 
Attention all inmates. Attention all inmates. The artificial okay, yeah, reality it, experiment no has malfunctioned. If you can hear this, please do. exit the game immediately. Endless loop detected. Endless loop detected. It's too late. Save yourself, chat. Frame you for drawing driving. <laughs> Toast? Consider it my way of saying thank you. That's a little bit much. Another syringe? Jesus. See you in the insane asylum, sweetie. Not me. Not now. this fucking syringe should I plant the gun as well It's a lot of money. <sighs> if you mention any of this to anyone, you won't have time to spend it. Look at the syringe. Don't smash it. Hey, don't smash it. What is it? In your hand or in your vein? What? I don't get it. Why would he give it? Why would she give it to, to him?
pen. I finally understand why you are still playing this game. This is actually developed by you. This is you telling a side of the story of what happened to Nanny. There's no sign we of all any babies you or murdered this them, baby but in reality she put you in the insane asylum. Sad deal. Apologize, chat. I told you. I didn't do it. Wait, what? Is the baby still in? You. Come. Push. Come on! <laughs> 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 That's my favorite. Forget it. I'll wait here. She didn't even need the cracks. She just goes straight through the fucking wall. <laughs> Easy. Literally the fucking Tom Cruise fucking hang, dude. Why wouldn't you just climb down from the top of the bridge instead of climbing up? All the way. Hmm. You could have just done this at the very fucking top. He'll wake up.
don't let him see you. He'll end up coming towards me. Follow him. Dad! That's not how Bungie works, dude. Make sure he doesn't kill himself. Let go! Let go of me! Then call the police and report an attempted suicide. Uh, yeah, I'm on the Brody Canyon Bridge. I just... Uh, I just saved the life of some guy who was trying to jump off the bridge. And, uh... They came. And that's it. You know what, Denison? I believe you. So... I'm clean? Innocent? How could you have left out the part about the baby? What baby? The baby was there. Like an old thing in the three years, man. Pew. Force the knee. A pan Adam, a Tydron, a rock doom. A lot of you are. <laughs> Impressive. Sorry I always keep you waiting. Harley was still printing the Horowitz file for me. Whose file? Lisa E. Horowitz. One of the three women to rent a car at Wong's just before Faye popped up at Miller's place. And considering her age, the only one who could be our body. I asked Harley to get us some details on her. We could take a look at it, if you want. And I thought this only happened in movies. Welcome to my life. Would you rather take one last look at the board before reading her file? Do a run-through of the investigation? Just in case, I'd like to take a closer look at it. Okay. Where should we start? Is that her? We know that on October 8th of last year, she showed up at Miller's house, slept with him, her? and vanished, only to show up a year later with a kid, Jenny, Supposedly the daughter of Miller, who she's been gaslighting and drugging for weeks, disguised as his mother. Her motive? Revenge. But the thing that puzzles me the most is, why did her plan backfire? Did she just slip, and that's it? Did she get her revenge, and then decide to end it all? Or, what are we missing? There was a men's suit in a bag we found under the bridge, which Faye wore to look like John Miller, who'd committed suicide by jumping off the same bridge. There was also a neuroleptic, likely used to put Ed Miller to sleep. Rock climbing equipment, key to a vehicle we have yet to identify. Maybe it was her getaway car. Maybe. Maybe. Faye reenacted with total precision the accident in which
in which Marty Miller died. 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 As well as her daughter. Ed Miller claims that his daughter, the new Jenny, was in the car. But the only evidence we have of her existence is a picture found on Faye's phone. On top of that, Faye wanted to make extra sure to frame Ed, so she planted a gun in the car. The exact same one that killed Samuel Franklin, and a bottle of whiskey, which is exactly what John Miller had been drinking before he killed himself. Faye paid him $10,000 to help her execute the last part of her plan. Together, they pushed Ed's car into the canyon. Later, Faye dressed up as John Miller, waited for Dennison to wake Ed up, and pretended to jump off the bridge. But wearing a harness with a rope hook to it, she hid right under the bridge and put the disguise and the climbing equipment in the duffel bag. While Dennison made sure Ed didn't jump, and called the police. We know for sure that the bullet that killed Samuel Franklin came from the gun found in Miller's wrecked car and which we now know was planted there by Faye. It's no secret that she wanted to frame Miller. So she may possibly be the murderer, but why did she kill him? What did Samuel Franklin do? What did he know? Frankly, after four days of searching, I'm starting to lose hope. I really want to believe she's still alive, but... She's still alive. She has the baby. Something tells me we'll find her. I hope so. Thanks. But I don't know why she wanted the fucking baby of this kid. The Franklin's Ranch has a lousy cell phone service, so somebody cut their landline so they'd have no means of contacting anyone the same night that Samuel Franklin was murdered. And just a few hours before Dennison called the police, claiming Ed Miller had tried to commit suicide at the Brody Canyon Bridge. I think the, this woman made a deal with, this, with the Fave girl. For the baby, and then at the end she pushed her off, cover her tracks, and she's with the baby somewhere. Ed has several issues that are not usually seen together. To start with, the death of his family at the hand of his father, which contributed to his becoming the most cynical patient I've ever treated. Then, there's the repression of that trauma, spurred on by his Aunt Claire. And finally, somebody arriving who was capable of harnessing that trauma to intentionally drive him crazy. And is that the case? Is he crazy? Crazy is a very relative term, but if Faye's aim was to strip him of his sanity, she did not manage to do so. Well, I'd say I've got a pretty clear picture. Let's look at the file. <laughs> Great. This is Lisa Horwitz, the day she graduated from Yale as a psych major, also as valedictorian. Anything come to mind? Different eyes? This isn't her best picture, but it's pretty clear this could be the same person. Faye told Ed that she'd just graduated as a psych major. So, it all adds up. Yeah, surely everything must be true. Her studies would explain why she had knowledge of the narcotic effects of that drug, wouldn't it? Maybe. Let's see what the file says. Daughter of Peter and Marlene Horowitz, upper middle class, they were well off. They both died when Lisa was a little girl. Should we stick the picture on the board or skip to the next one? Let's move on to the next one. You're the boss. Now for the fun part. After her parents' death, she became depressed. 
self-harm, suicide attempts. She spent several months in the New Jersey Psychiatric Hospital. Possibly the most expensive one in New England. Rings a bell. I think a patient of mine went there. Who was it? The night before she was going to be released, her best friend from the hospital got drunk and jumped off the roof of the building. Isn't it odd that her best friend from the hospital killed herself by jumping off a building and that she ended up the same way? Yes. Maybe she jumped too. Maybe she was trying to emulate her. But why? Her friend got drunk right before committing suicide by throwing herself over the ledge. Like Miller's father. Jeez. Why is everything so convoluted? Did Ed Miller, after everything that happened to him as a kid, never go to a psych hospital? He almost did, but his Aunt Claire kept it from happening. She took him home to San Bernardino and essentially brainwashed him, burying most of his negative memories. That sounds healthy. Isn't it ironic that a former psychiatric patient would pursue psychiatry. It makes sense. A few people in my class had similar backgrounds. Some did it to get to know themselves what? better. Others wanted to give back, help people who had gone through something similar. When she was released, Lisa went back to New York under the guardianship of her paternal grandmother, Diane Horowitz, who a few weeks later fell down the stairs, breaking her neck. What do we do with this one? Stick it there? Pass. Let's move on to the next one. This is from a couple of years ago. A climbing wall in her neighborhood in New York. So she is Tom Cruise. Another coincidence? There's no question. Lisa is our Fay. Hmm. Hmm. What? You're still not sure. I've been wrong too many times not to have my doubts. Maybe she's just bad. And this is from a few weeks ago. Lisa Horowitz applies for positions in psychiatrist and training at the only psychiatric hospital in our county. And she got it. She's supposed to be starting at the end of the month, though I doubt she will. Why would a wealthy young woman from New York with an outstanding academic record want to work at a hospital with such a poor reputation and so far from home? I'm guessing we're about to find out. The doctor who was assigned to Ed at the hospital, before Robert Kerrigan hired me to treat him, was quite inclined to admitting him to a mental institution. The mental institution where Lisa was going to work is almost certainly the same one Ed would have been admitted to. Are you saying that? That was the last part of the plan. Become his psychiatrist and torture him. Let's take a look at her medical record. She weighed almost nine pounds when she was born. At age 11, her appendix was removed. Hmm. What is it? Let me make a quick call, just to double check. Pat? It's Reyes. Remember the body we brought in uh, yesterday? The blonde girl? Ah, perfect. <coughs> Can you tell me uh, if she has a scar? The kind you would have from getting your appendix removed? She does not. Dun dun dun! Are you sure? 
Gwen's sister. Okay. Thanks, Pat. I can't believe it. It it has to be her. It's her. But no. No, no. We were so close. I'm sorry. It happens a lot. You think you have a bite, you tug at the line, and all you have to do is reel it in, but just at the last minute. I wouldn't give it too much more thought right now. We should get some rest. Okay, who the fuck is Veronica Kerrigan? Notices it's missing. Hmm, he got really sleepy all of a sudden. He'll be in bed for a while. If they catch you. I wasn't about to leave you all alone on your last night here. Are we best friends or what? Besides, I've got a surprise for you. Come on, follow me. Uh... But... I'm not sure if... Are we best friends? Or not? Besides... You're not a patient anymore. They can't touch you. Uh, all right. But I have to finish writing my diary entry for today. It's my routine. It's your routine. I'll wait for you. Get all of the reasons it won't work, but leave the one reason that it will. We're the same age, aren't we? You're 15 too, right? Why? Hmm, no reason. Why are you 15? Huh?
Just be completely wrong. Tree. They let you wear earrings that aren't clip-ons? It's a reward. I haven't hurt myself in a long time. I don't get to wear those yet. My grandma sends them to me. She's so sweet. You're so lucky. You know what? Take one. No, I couldn't. Are we best friends or what? Looks like both of them had like 15 plastic surgeries each. I want you to have something of mine, too. It's my lucky pendant. Nothing bad can happen to you, as long as it's around your neck. But... Omega. Are we best friends, or what? That looks so freaking cool on you. It's beautiful. All right, do what you gotta do and I'll show you the surprise. Oh, tremble not, Big my sight. dearest one, because there's nothing to fear. Let's wait together for the sun to show us the monsters not here. What are you... She chewing gum? Starting tonight, you're my new best friend. Today I feel... Excited. The smile? Hey, don't look! Whoops! Sorry! Bro, what the fuck? Completely empty. A 
thought we were best friends. That surprise? You sure you can't give it to me here? Positive. Uh, now I'm scared. What if you don't like it? Of course I'm gonna like it. This is so exciting. Wait for me here while I finish getting it ready, okay? Razzaraz, welcome. El Tor Torta de Frango, Temporary Feelings, Rainbow Fish Cakes, Sappy Email, Tuna Fish Maya, Frugo Tabalugo, and here you're in my with the six years. I'm going to school now. Congratulations. Gender studies, I heard. At one point, I considered electrocuting you, but I need you to be disfigured from falling face first into the ground. Face to the ground. <laughs> How poetic. Yeah, she's super sane. Still missing a few things. Cigarette pack or what? Oh. Hmm. 
No? <laughs> no? Jump. What the fuck? Jump. they want from me I'm still missing a few things no maybe I don't hmm not here you wouldn't fall far enough if there's one thing I'm going to miss it's climbing therapy I know what I'm gonna do first thing when I get to New York Not here. You'd only fall one story. Wouldn't be a very good story. This is the spot. Close your eyes and give me your hand. Don't open your eyes yet. Go ahead and sit down. Here. On the ground. Ah, she's taking her mm -hmm. spot to leave. By making them think she killed herself. I get it now. Ready. Open your eyes and make a wish. <sighs> I'm gonna miss you so much. Why did I meet you so late, when I already knew I was leaving? Want to open up a little more? What's that? Consider it my way of saying thank you. For the best week of my life. But... Veronica, oh, come on. You're out of the loony bin tomorrow. It's your last chance to do crazy stuff. I've never, ever tried it. Ooh, are we playing Never Have I Ever? My turn to drink then. The cat Never is have on. I ever. Slept with a stuffed animal. Cheater! <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> well, you know. <coughs> oh, this is disgusting! 
you get used to it, your turn. Never have I ever tried Never to kill my best friend. Never have I ever kissed a boy. <laughs> what about a girl? <laughs> Veronica! <laughs> well, either way, really. Never have I ever... lived with my grandma. Ha! <laughs> You're saying that because I told you I lived with my grandma before coming here. You've barely told me anything about it. I can it. share <laughs> She's or... cool. I don't know. And now you're going to be living with her again? I want to know everything about her. Undercover agent. And she's a cool grandma. She doesn't even look like a grandma. She goes up and down the stairs like she's Rocky. But it's my turn. Never have I ever made my own breakfast. <laughs> you haven't? Back home, the maid did it. Here, who knows? Well, I've never made my own breakfast either, so I don't drink. Never have I ever had a room to myself. You haven't? But here... Here doesn't count. This isn't real life. <clears throat> I had a really pretty room at my grandma's house. And now you're going to be living there again. Tell me everything about it. So yeah, it's a really sick house. New York is so cool. <laughs> my turn. Never have I ever... <laughs> Come here. I want you to feel the coolest thing you're ever going to feel in your life. <laughs> I think I'm a little cold. <sighs> Follow me. Take her shoes off. You'll grip onto the beam better. But I'm scared. Don't be a pussy. What did we say? That this was my last night to do crazy stuff. Plus, not only am I your best friend, but also the best climber in this madhouse. Who would you be safer with? But I'm a little drunk. Give me your glasses. That way, you won't see so blurry. Yeah, don't this smash makes sense. It. Hey, don't smash it. I'll be right behind you, holding on to you. Each step you take will be like flying over everything that ever hurt you. here anymore will we still be friends you'll always be a part of me the ground that's still a coin flip even after all this fucking plan look what you've done i hate you Let's 
How the fuck is this thing still going? How has it not finished yet? Holy fucking Christ, mother in heaven. If I have to watch any more of this, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Well, I'm and the animation started up really shitty is... and have only gotten Wait, worse. Let me see if I'm following How this. past All of the, the year 2000, are random they don't do a DNA check on that someone who has a smash face? You, with reason? Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No way. Oh, I was worried there. It's three pages long. Those are the ones I remember. I've lost contact with a lot of the others or forgotten their names. The number on the left is my guess for how angry they are, if that helps. Doesn't help, does it? Anyway, there was something important you had to tell me? I don't know what the best way to put this is, but... One more time, wait. You don't do DNA tests on suicide, dumbass. Uh, you do to identify who actually killed himself. The fuck? If there is no way to identify the victim, of course you have to fucking identify the victim. Are you retarded patronum or what? Teeth. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> the fuck? He's still identified, is my point. Don't ask why, but I need you to tell me about Veronica Kerrigan. What? Why? No. Ed, please. It's important. What is this? Don't let a single day go by without Ed telling me about some childhood trauma? Ed. Even with what she did to me. Tarnishing her memory isn't what I had planned. She was completely off her rocker, but she was a kid and the daughter of a good friend of mine. Well, at least at the time. Trust me. Please. Only since I owe you one. Daddy. Sweetheart, what did the bread do to make you want to torture it like that? I don't know. It's fun. Can we go to the movies? Yeah, yeah, sure. If you take your medicine, we can go this weekend. Oh, Dad. What did the doctor say? That's better. Can we go to the movies today? Oh, uh, right. Not today. I have to work. You always have to work. Sweetheart, I'm meeting Ed Miller at five, so... It's always Miller. Did you like our vacation last summer? Mm-hmm. Well, we wouldn't have gone to Paris or Rome if it hadn't been for Miller's book tour. It's always that Miller guy. And that's a good thing. If his second book goes like the first one did, I'll have a ton of time to spend with you. Besides, he's a great guy, and he really cares about you if you just give him a chance. But it's just... Sweetheart, <sighs> I'm running late. I have to brush my teeth. We'll talk about this later. So the he's the agent and this is the daughter of the agent and 
and Miller met the daughter. But he doesn't recognize her when she shows up. I mean, she, she's not the real daughter, right? Or... Is this before the psych? The fucking... Is this the real daughter? She is. This is before the psych ward. Okay. Pick a wine, Ed. We have to work late anyway, so why not enjoy it? You should get to bed, Veronica. It's late. Oh no, your parents have to work for a living. <laughs> Must be horrible. No wonder she went insane. Veronica, baby girl, it's not Ed's fault that you got cut. It wasn't his job to pick up the broken glass. Better think of a different plan. I'm not gonna let them. Not the doctors, not Miller, not anybody. No one's turning me into a lame brain or stealing dad from me. Lame brain. Okay. Hmm. No. What if something happened to dad? have plenty of pills, but they know they were mine. Wait a goddamn minute. Does this mean there is no incest? What the fuck Forsen? I was told there would be incest. This is so not cool. I can't even get chills from this now. Terrible storytelling. Probably made by a European. Uh Lure Miller to the oh, there's some fucking pedophilia bait going on right now. Hmm. What if Dad walks in and catches me? That is your thing. Hmm. What if Dad walks in and catches me? I'm asleep. Yes, Dad. I think this door is stuck. Can you open it from your side? Dad, I don't know which way to turn it. I don't know, sweetie. Try to the left. To the left, it doesn't do anything. Then try to the right. really scared dad hey come on it wasn't that bad mm, I love you so much daddy I love you too sweetheart ah, get cracking I'm gonna be late for a meeting and you're gonna be late for school Yeah, right the bus comes in 45 minutes okay but don't get sidetracked because then you'll miss it again
Don't stare at it like that. Be patient. <laughs> Ten months to live with. Frozen! Promise is a promise. Frozen! 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 Who's Frozen! Who's pretty little girl? Frozen! <laughs> Frozen! <laughs> Frozen! Be good, sir. Frozen! 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 Of course. Frozen! 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 Forty-five minutes. Everything was going just fine till Miller showed up. Daddy is mine, and everything will go back to being just fine. Maybe not. It has to look like he took the pictures. Alrighty. You're the only one who knows what really happened to Mary. Yeah, I know I barely talk to you anymore, but I've grown up. To Mary? There we go. Yeah, right. Not even Superman can do that. Candy, pug. <laughs> Those were good times. Storytelling is bad and boring, so let me just be annoying. Forsome, 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 forsome. I'll forsome, save the photos there forsome, later. Forsome, 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 Maybe not. It has to look like he took the pictures. Bro, 45 minutes gonna pass before I figure out how to fucking progress this room. Tripod. Maybe not. Maybe so. No, you see, met Gachimuchi and Todori with one year just for some BB chills. Thank you very much, man. Chat. Hold on a second. Are you saying the dad I'm or the mother don't all. realize their insane asylum daughter was replaced by someone nothing like her? Why did they build up a story about her grandmother who could have dementia so and as such actually not recognize her? Uh, yes, they did build up that story with the grandma uh, that had dementia. Uh, 
Hi, this Ed. is before the insane asylum. Where's my dad? This is... I was just going to ask you the same thing. Yeah, before. Oh. This is probably how she then got there. Then I guess there. I have to be nice to people at our house. <laughs> be the host. Yeah. <laughs> you writers are so cool, knowing all those complicated well, words. Well, you know, we're not that cool. Should I tell Reginald to bring you something to drink? That's okay, I'm... I'm all right. Oh man, I want to be a good host. Oh. Well, then. Yes. Whatever you want. Okay, thanks. She's really fucking strong. Give her that. <laughs> One trick pony. I brought you the whole picture, in case you want more. Wow, you're the perfect host. Well, it's hot as Hades. Even worse in this uniform. I'm gonna Hello, get Hello, mister. Frozen! I've noticed Have that you your title your says games and shit. No! But all I see now is pure shit. Don't worry, in a little while I'm going to play Cisco. Oh my fucking god, Neil Frozen. Anyways, they be frozen. Bro, it's the wrong side of the phone. Some have it on the back? Really? This is 2011, motherfucker. Cool. It'll be our little secret. I won't tell a single soul. Mr. Force, can you please play a game that has stream savers? Watching this makes me want to stop so procrastinating. Tell me about it in chat. But you told me... What are you two up to? What's your little secret? Secret? Veronica? Um, Ed got here a little early because he wanted some pictures of me in my school uniform for something in his book. And he just took them on his phone and they turned out super, super cool. You want to see them, Daddy? That was the end of a beautiful friendship. Robert threatened to report me to the police, but I did it myself. They arrested me, obviously. But when they inspected my phone, the picture's metadata indicated that the photos had been taken with another device. Plus, the time didn't match Veronica's testimony either. They found the same drugs in my blood as the ones present in Veronica's meds, as well as all the pills she hadn't taken still in her room. Robert apologized, but we decided not to continue working together. We grew apart. Not long after that, Robert checked Veronica into a mental hospital. When I heard about her death, I called Robert in case... I don't know. He thanked me. We hung up and haven't spoken since. And that's it. 
I have no idea how Robert's been these last few years. I do. He came to me shortly after Veronica's funeral. He needed help and told me his story. Veronica was two years old when Robert adopted her. I never looked into her previous life, nor her biological family story. But I have a friend who might... Doctor! Are you going to tell me what on earth Veronica has to do with any of this? Veronica did not die in the psychiatric hospital. She died two weeks ago. What? Veronica is Faye. Ha. Faye. As a kid, I'd pretend I was a pirate and unearth buried treasures. As a kid, I'd play spy games and discover classified information. As a kid, I made up a character I could talk to. As an adult, I buried my childhood. As an adult, I covered up my childhood. As an adult, the character I created took my place and never let me speak. My father succumbed to alcohol. My father got lost in obsession. My father lost sight of the world. My father became a stranger. My father was a reason my mother wasn't happy. My mother couldn't put up with him anymore and searched. My mother's only way of coping was to search outside the home. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home. So my sister Jenny was a product of that search. My sister Jenny wasn't supposed to be born into my family. My sister Jenny was the only thing. My father reacted in the worst possible way. My father caused an accident that killed. My father deliberately killed my mother. And Alcohol I. led my father to cause an accident. Obsession caused my father to react. My mother and my sister died at the Brody Canyon. My mother and my sister were murdered at the Brody Canyon. My father wanted to liberate himself jumping off that scene. My father didn't have the spine to own up to what he'd done and jumped the off that scene. led my father to jump off I've same. forgotten how I felt. Did I feel furious? Afraid? Did sad? I feel hatred? Did I feel alone? Did I feel nothing? Did I feel everything? As a kid, I'd pretend I was a pirate and unearthed buried treasures. As an adult, I buried my childhood. My father got lost in obsession. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home, so... My sister Jenny was a product of that search. My father caused an accident that killed. Remorse led my father to jump off of that saying, My Aunt Claire buried my childhood. I'd forgotten how I felt. For 27 years, I haven't known who I was. 27 years of writing to hide myself, only to turn into somebody. I'm not. Drowning in sarcasm and lies. It's over. Is it though? I feel like it's not. Maybe Jenny is buried somewhere. Where the fuck is my shirt? What did you say your name was? I didn't say what my name was. Oh, thanks, Mr. Mysterious. I'm Faye. If you could bring me some ice. How did she do it? How did she do it? You're fucking dumb. The baby's in the freezer. No. I have to shave? What the f Fuck.
about the same shirt, Pog. Hmm. I'm not ready to ride a motorcycle yet. What am I ready for? Can't even leave the door. Over here. Find Jenny, face the path. Forsen! She died two weeks ago in the asylum. What are you talking about? She's been here the whole time. How is that possible? For son, you realize you are patient here. That's not possible. Wake up, for son. A pleasure meeting you, Ed. I'm Dr. Lomas. Doctor in what exactly? Doctor? You got one hour. One. Pathetic. Did you see that? I drank a glass of water this big in one gulp. Good job. I'll take your meds. We can never leave. This is the true asylum. Guess who's calling? <laughs> the thing is, I'd like to see you again. Oh, and I think I lost an earring. If you find it, can you give me a call? Who was this again? Hmm, maybe. We'll see. Hey, I'm trying to find awesome. myself. Is this basically what happened during a month long than last year? I'm sorry you had to go through this. Dungeon. 
Yeah. Fairly accurate. TV, check out my crib. Bro, I can't leave. Huh? What did he want from me? What the fuck did he want from me? Open the edit box. Are, are they kidding me? Oh my fucking god, dude. The fucking look up. It's stuck. pirate game I've ever seen. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't make to. It's not your fault, sweetie. It's just that when Daddy's sad, he gets upset. You're never going to get sad or upset like that. Promise me. I promise. Night to be six, Sam. You're still screwed. Put chess piece back. Back where? I've never seen a chessboard. Upstairs, maybe? Think you're going? I asked you a question, Eddie. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> you think going out there and facing the world will make you someone? The hell it will. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I know you. You're a piece of junk like me. You're useless. <laughs> don't know how to love without hurting me. Oh. You ruined that. Because you don't really care about anything but yourself and your pain. I'm not going to let you go around hurting people like I did. Just end your miserable life. Why is he in Tiffany? Ed! Honey! You finally went outside! Come and give your aunt a kiss. Hello, Dev Dono here. Forsen actually together. commissioned me to make Just an like autobiographical game with the Mad Month Candle sponsorship money. That is why there are so many similarities between Forsen and the main character. It is a subtle nod to anyone who knows. The Mosh, some might say. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, Aunt Claire. Eddie, honey, are you tired? Maybe you should lie down for a little bit. I'm fine. I don't need to lie down. It's just I'd like to talk about... <sighs> Did you have breakfast? Do you want a little juice and some toast? Why did you make me forget everything that happened? What Dad did? Eddie, what have I always told you? Some things are better left unsaid. Or do you want some bacon and eggs instead? When Mom and Dad died and you took me with you to San Bernardino, I remember night after night of you telling me how much Mom and Dad loved each other. How both of them watched over me from the stars with Jenny, happy to see me happy. Because I had to be happy. I understand why you did it, but those buried memories slowly ate away at me from the inside. I'm tired. I'm going to lie down for a bit. Aunt Claire. There are eggs in the fridge and enough oranges. After the nap, I'll make some three bean chili. We ate some not too long ago, but it's your favorite, so... I guess. Oh, Claire. The developers have created an interactive thriller based you upon the concept yet unique in its narrative. The story is brilliantly crafted and well paced. This is an actual review like by that. a video game journalist, Lal W. It happened so fast. He gave it an 8.3 out of, of a few 10. Months. Pepe Do. Two years before the end. No reason or explanation. Your mother I and I, see. we tried everything. We talked to him. We asked him. We begged him. We supported him. We got him help. But in the end, we lost. All your mom had left was you. The possibility that you could still be happy in spite of it all. And when we lost her, I did my best. I'd better lie down for a little bit.
Yeah, I'd better not bother her for now. Let her be, let her be, let her be. Boss, we pulled the ivy off the wall. You want us to plant it somewhere else? Burn it. Burn it to the ground. I don't know if I'm ready to ride a motorcycle. Put chess piece back? Where the fuck does this chess piece go? Where's the fucking chess board? Well, it's not here. Samuel? Does it always go like this? What do you mean, like this? You get the bait ready, throw the hook into the water, and, and wait, and wait, and wait, until, if you're lucky, you get a bite. And then wait again? You've just described a perfect, relaxing day of fishing. <laughs> then I think I'm more of a chess kind of guy. You like how the dock's coming along, boss? If I were you, I'd turn that frame over there into a bar, throw parties all day, all night, and people would be like, I got invited to a party at Ed Miller's yesterday. The writer, that guy, is living the life. If they only knew. When was the last time someone came over? Boss, you sure you want us to tear down the treehouse? It just needs a little paint and varnish. Stick to the plan. Tear it all down. Whatever you say, boss. But any kid would be thrilled. Where are you? Don't smash it. Hey, don't smash it! Where's this fucking chessboard, man? What the fuck? Is it in the house? Why would it be here? The hell happened there? Fucking blood. Wait a second. Where is this blood coming from? It's not blood. Fucking night to be six. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sebastian, you've been in a coma for 20 years now. That's impossible. How could you tell me? Unless you're in the coma too. Chat. That's not even the fucking knife for this chessboard. Stupid fuck. You just now found it out? Knight. To be six, Sam, you're still screwed. <laughs> Boy, 
Don't you remember anything I taught you when you were little, huh? Uh, 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 ah, uh, why do I always forget about castling? You always defend by attacking, okay? The trick is, always have a safe place for your most valuable pieces. No fun if there's no risk involved. No game if there are no pieces. What's wrong? Aren't you gonna move? Why didn't he just take it? Why didn't he just fucking take the fucking knight? With either his or the fucking pawn? Wait. B6? Oh no. Oh, what the. Never mind. It was so scuffed as board. You know, everyone thinks you're the county curmudgeon, right? You're not gonna distract me, boy. No, seriously, I never understood that. I never understand a thing. I'm just an uneducated farmer. I don't even get why everyone thinks you're the standoffish county recluse. <laughs> Maybe that's why we tolerate each other. We're more alike than it shows. <laughs> you wish. By the way, I know it's not your birthday or anything, but... I saw this the other day in the window at the antique store on East Main. And I thought, well, Frankie Lane, chess, so, uh, I don't know. It's a valuable piece, so you know. Keep it in a safe place. You know what? In the early 80s, I was convinced that the Russians were going to fry us all with a nuclear bomb. So I built a bomb shelter under the ranch. I built it myself. With no help from anybody. You're kidding me. Anyway. It can house uh, up to seven people. Has running water, its own energy supply, no one knows it exists. Not even my nephew, Adam. Just Esther. And me. Why are you telling me about it? Look at us. Look at us what? Neither one of us has... I mean, we're both missing, we're family. Uh, about that, I, I met, uh, no. No, no what? How long have you known? Since Esther saw you leaving the mall. She saw the diapers. In the trunk of your car, too. I've been holding her back a whole week. So she wouldn't come drill you with questions. Mm. Uh... Well... I met a girl a while ago and, uh... Uh, no. The baby is... I don't know where to start. Uh, no rush. Whenever you've got it figured out. As long as you know that... That if the Russians go crazy again, the girl 
the baby, and you are all invited to live in the bunker. Hmm. That's where the wife is. Anyway, oh, boy, man. your but turn. Baby. Are you gonna make a move or what? I told you this fucking three hours ago. Fucking 148 IQ. He doesn't even have the key. Or maybe there's no key for the bunker. Thanks, Robert, for coming right away. It's no problem. I got the first flight available. Anything you need, sweetie. Robert, this is Sheriff Nick Reyes from Cerro Lake. Pleasure. Please. So, why the urgency? this about Ed? Has he gotten worse? <clears throat> Time to lay it on him. Uh, Robert, this might seem a little odd, but... Do you remember if Veronica had an unusual scar? What? I don't know. Why would you ask that, sweetie? Sweetie? Mr. Carrigan, we're asking about a very particular scar. On the right glute. He's dating the therapist? Not anymore, my lover. Just barge into the Cerny's yard without permission. And you certainly cannot take Skippy. But he was hot. He's a puppy, honey. He doesn't know how to swim. And that pool is really deep. Dear God, if I hadn't been there. Miss Cerny said I was crazy. You're not crazy, honey. Oh. She was just oh, and said Charlie. Oh. She That's all. That really but hurt. she won't let me play with Skippy anymore. She's a stupid old fart. Sweetie, they were only scared, that's all. They thought you wanted to hurt the puppy. But I... Just put yourself in their shoes for a moment. Imagine if someone took you to the park without your dad's permission when he wasn't around. And let's just say that, God forbid, you fell off the slide and hurt yourself. Wouldn't your daddy tell that person that they couldn't take you to the park anymore? You can't tell daddy. I don't want you to. I can't lie to your dad. Plus, we should always tell the truth. Daddy pays you to do what I say, and I demand you to not tell him. Actually, your daddy pays me to take care of you, honey. Okay, here's the plan. I'll put the dirty towels in the wash while you think about what you'd like to eat. Then, I'll fix it up for you in a jiffy. What do you say? And let's just say that, God forbid, you fell off the slide and hurt yourself. Wouldn't your daddy tell that person that they couldn't take you to the park anymore? Yes, 
A nice big cut would do, but it'd be hard to blame her for it. I could cut myself with a broken glass, but she'd have to be the one to break it. Gee, why do they always set everything up for the grown-ups? Throw it on myself and say he was married? Juicy logics. What? Are you planning on it falling out when she opens it? That's not how fucking physics work. So, Veronica? Is it a fucking slope or what? What would you like to eat? I want a PBJ and a juicy red in my fruity glass. Oh, a PBJ and a juicy red in the fruity glass. Everything tastes better in that fruity glass, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, oh, what a klutz. I'm sorry, honey. Uh, um, Troll physics. Let me get the broom. Don't you move a finger until I clean this all up, okay? I didn't say okay. <laughs> Get you another glass just like that one before you even know it. They sell them at the. Oh, look! That must be your daddy. He's a fucking condom ad, uh, dude. Mary, what's up? How's my little girl? She's fine, thank God. But I need to talk to you about something a bit... Well, a bit sensitive. Did you know that most brave little girls have scars? Now you'll have one too. And you know what else? It'll be shaped like a V. V for Veronica? Yeah, V for Veronica. Daddy? Is Mary... Crazy? No. No. It's just... Don't you worry about it, honey. 
We'll find a better babysitter. No one will ever scold you again without a good reason. I love you so much, Daddy. That's how you scold kids, put broken glass on their chairs. Fucking N.A. scolding. <laughs> Where did you build it, Samuel? I still can't believe you built a bunker on the ranch. <laughs> Neither can I. There's so much to keep in mind. For example, it has to be close enough to the house so that you can get to it quick before the bomb goes off. But it can't be right underneath the house, because that's the first place they'll look. Knowing you, nothing in that bunker was left to chance. Under the barn. Is this horse still here? Come on, say it! Okay, but then off to the shower with you, or your mom won't let you come over. When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who is the only pirate to stay and fight? Captain Roberts, who knows no fright. One more time. When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who is the only pirate to stay and fight? Captain Roberts, who knows no fright. One more time. No, no, no. Captain Roberts needs to head to the sink. So much swashbuckling <laughs> is making him stink. <laughs> uh. You want. <laughs> you miss them too, don't you, old pal? You look well. You've got fresh water, you're nice and clean. Who's taking care of you? Hmm? is on top. Might be on the roof. Where is it, Samuel? <laughs> what, is that here? Oh. 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 Okay, too soon.
I think those blueprints are still somewhere in the barn. Come today, I will play this new game I found. Surely I'll be able to finish it in one stream. Three years later. Come chat, I think that this game may actually never end. Unlucky. Unlucky, 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 unlucky. Anybody there? Sheriff? It's Adam Driver. We'll go with the wooden hammer. I don't want to kill him. Why would we go up? We just came from up. Give me a reason. Hey, come on. Chill. Ugh. Oh, dude, it's Adam Driver. The driver. Robert. She was two years old when I adopted her. I always thought I'd be compensated somehow for not seeing her birth. And it blows on the long and on 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 Mr. Garrigan, and on, and on. I do know what it's like. In fact, I relived it not too long ago. I can't, Julia. I just can't. This whole time, she was alive. Not a single call in eight years. It can't be her. Robert. No. No. Why would she call me? She hated me ever since I had her committed. How did she die? What was she doing all these years? Was she happy? Happy like the Joker. We don't know how happy she was the last few years. According to the doctor's psychological profile, she might have been happy before. She seemed to have fond memories of the time spent living under your care. In fact, she felt Ed had torn you two apart and ended her happiness. Hence, the revenge. No matter how disturbed she was, she never stopped loving you, Mr. Kerrigan. As for how it all ended, we're still not sure why, but she fell off the Brody Canyon Bridge, and due to the extreme height, and the fact that it took us a while to find her body, her face might... No. Perhaps the scar we mentioned might be more helpful when it comes to identifying her. That's really all we need.
It's not her. Da -na -na. Enter <sighs> chapter 3 out of 10. Where is she? Where's my aunt? Adam. Why? 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 Tell me why. Better start explaining why! Why? Please. Is this why my OBS my audio uncle? settings? Adam, your uncle was my friend. I didn't kill him. Faye, Veronica did. Bullshit. Veronica, Faye. Who pulled the trigger doesn't really matter. You were an accomplice in his death. An accomplice? Adam! You always wanted to get rid of me what the as a kid fuck? and as a grown-up. You took them away from me. You stole their love. Fishing. Chess. The shared afternoons. You took them away from me. And you still weren't satisfied. You wanted the ranch. But I was going to inherit it, wasn't I? You wanted to threaten him to change his will, but never had the balls to. Because you've never had the balls to do anything! Your new friend did the dirty work for you, and it all got out of hand. She killed my uncle, and you killed her for screwing up, out of rage, to tie up any loose ends. Actual Adam, that's twist. insane. I'm done. Did you kill my uncle? Adam, I didn't! I don't care who pulled the trigger. Did you kill my uncle? I know where you're- Did you kill my uncle? Uh... No. No! I had nothing to do with his death. Nothing! You just won't give up, will you? Alright. Tell me what I want to know before I lose it! Three... Your aunt is alive, and I know where she is. What? She's in the ranch bunker. There's no bunker on the ranch. The blueprints are downstairs. I know where the entrance is. How do I know this isn't just a plan for me to let you go? This is not who you are, Adam Franklin. You're a good man, but if you do this... You asked for... Ah! I got baited. There's a bunker. You prove it. According to the blueprints, it should be here. We should hear the sound of metal. It's right here. There's no doubt about it. Is it her? Did you know that most brave little girls have scars? And now you'll have one too. And you know what else? It'll be shaped like a V. V for Veronica? V for Vivon! Thank you. Planted. 
got the key. I'm on my way. I need to go to the Franklin Ranch. Let's catch up later. Sheriff. Can I stay a little longer with my daughter? Mr. Carrigan. Perhaps... Would you like to meet your granddaughter? Promising that before they even get into the fucking bunker. Is he fucking retardo patronum? They don't know shit. Devs fuming right now. He's making it look terrible on purpose. Ah, this guy. Honey Esther, can you hear me? Why does he have to go first? The fucking cop. I don't have him at fucking gunpoint anymore.
rats take flight. Who's the only pirate to stay and fight? Hmm? Stay away from her, you monster! <sighs> Dear boy, what did I do to you? It'll heal fast. Don't worry. The ambulance is on its way. They'll have to run some tests and... <sighs> we had all kinds of things. Food and water. You know Sam. Um, Mrs. Franklin, if you could... You know, when you're feeling a little better... Maybe you could tell us what happened? I told Sam that it was too late to cross the woods. That he should take the car instead. But he insisted on walking to your house. in common, right? Surely? He said he wanted to remind you about your fishing plans. But I know that he just wanted to have a beer with you. I was surprised when he came back so soon. He, he wasn't himself. I said, Sam, what's wrong? What did you see? Let's do this tonight. Same time. You better not be late. <laughs> well played, Kitty. I told Sam to call the police right away, but... You know how stubborn he was. He said he'd tell you the next day when you went fishing. He didn't think much about it. He said a lot of youngsters did target practice in the woods and that she was probably shooting at squirrels. We didn't sleep well that night. Got up earlier than usual. Just before dawn, 
while we were having breakfast. We heard a car. We thought that was odd. Kill them. with a blanket, and then she dragged me away from him. She locked me up with the baby in the bunker, and said she'd be back in a few hours. So I was about to go to bed. They walks you through five hour existential crisis where you struggle to find your bed or the meaning of life. Yeah, I thought I was done yesterday at the end of the stream. So I played an extra 10 15 minutes or something. Finished the game. Sam had installed a phone down there. I tried to call the police, but. I no longer knew what time it was, so I braced myself for her return. How am I going to live without him, madam? What will I do? But the mystery remains. Well, who killed you could get ready for dinner. Otherwise, Jenny will be asleep when her grandma gets there. Oh, I forgot about Eddie's apple pie. I hope I didn't burn it. I think it was the aunt. Keep that up. You'll finish writing that novel in record time. Awesome. 
Could you please recap the story up to this point? I missed some parts. Thank you, Ten. What's on your mind? This morning, I uh, finally got a call from soon, my no acquaintance at the state adoption every, agency. It seems minutes. like the agency that Robert hired for Veronica's adoption hid relevant information about her biological family. What? They molested her. They broke her. They... I don't even want to think about it. Bastards. Does that explain everything? Why she was a psychopath? Not everything. Many victims of abuse become abusers themselves. But sometimes, when they find a better family where they feel loved, that somehow compensates for the previous trauma. In Veronica's case, not even Robert's profound love could help her. The causes are multifaceted. Personal, social, even biological. We'll never know. I suppose we are all broken in one way or another. We don't all become Veronica, but we're not saints either. I thought you didn't want to interfere with my job. Hey, who's been interfering with mine for the past week? <laughs> Cheat on your husband. Do it. The champion's ending. When are you leaving? This afternoon. Leaving your husband or leaving this place? When I'm done with all the paperwork, uh, if you're not busy, I know there's someone waiting for you in L.A. But Cerro Lake is beautiful this time of year, and... Uh, There is someone, but I've given him far too many opportunities. And none to Cerro Lake. We could go back to Mama Louise. There are so many things I haven't tried yet. Is she talking sex positions or...? Like <laughs> what? Yeah! I see lad plus P improved law, Mr. Infinity, I see cows and broad okay. Thank you boys for going back. Rob with one year force and eight. Thank you. Alright. Finally. Oh my god, really? I thought they were joking in chat. I love you too, sweetie. To the moon and back. Actually, the cat killer. Not a bad girl. Will we still be friends? Oh my God! In heaven. She's your daughter, Ed. Shut up.
Secret ending. All right. I don't think we'll start uh, the replay through today, though. We'll uh, we'll start it tomorrow. All right. That's a jolly. I'm kidding. Hell of a fighter, I must say. Talking about you and me, chat. We fought till the very end, and we won or lost, depending on POV. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's check out next game. Next game. Uh, uh All right, wait. Uh, maybe we we'll play this tomorrow instead. Uh, check out other ending. Well, okay. What is the other ending? What is it called? What was the game called? Vertigo. Best ending or what? Bro, no one has played this game. Oh, here. at squirrels or we babies. didn't sleep well that night got up earlier than usual just before dawn 